Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, let's talk about Acer Aspire TC1780. If you're not sure where to look for the model, here's on the side of it, you can find that it says TC1780. This is a brand new desktop, and I would like to do is to take it apart to show you what are the things that you can upgrade and what are the things that is built internally. Let's find out. So I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. First, we need to remove the two screws. There's going to be one screw here. The second screw is going to be on the top. Once you remove two of the screws, you then can slide the side panel to the right. Slide it to the right and that is the internal part of the desktop. To get further into the computer, you definitely need to remove this metal bracket as well as the front panel. There are three clippers here. Just lift it up and slightly slide it towards yourself. And then once you have that, lift it up a little bit so that you can remove from the bottom part of the front panel. Once the front panel is removed, get a Phillips screwdriver, remove four screws. One, two, three, and four. And what you need to do is to slide this metal bracket, kind of push it down and slide it away from it. This is where the gap allows it to be pushed in and slide inwards. Like such, push it in and slide inwards to go underneath to that place. So to remove it, slide it out and remove it just like that. All right, let's take a look at the internal part of it. But before, there's a little metal bracket here that is covering up. It sounds like, well, it seems like to be a CD slot where you can play a DVD drive or a CD drive. Uh, doesn't seem to have the DVD slot in there. It's just a metal bracket. So I'm not sure why they even built a mounting bracket where there's no optical drive at all. So once the three screws are removed, this metal bracket can be slid out towards yourself. Let's take a look at the internal part of the computer. Very obvious that the power supply is being built on the very top here. Here's the motherboard. That's the CPU. You have the two RAM slot. The only thing that is used is the first RAM slot. You can add additional RAM. Once I remove the RAM, I can identify this RAM here. It runs on a DDR4. It says PC4 means DDR4. This is an 8 gigs RAM. So you can add it up to 16 by having 8 and 8. Well, they do have the SATA controller here, the slot for you to add hard drives. And the metal bracket here comes with the screws. I believe those screws are allow you to mount hard drive. It says HDD2, HDD1. That means you can have two hard drives uh, mounted onto the bracket, either the SSD drive or the regular 3.5 inch drive. However, that the power supply does not have enough power or the cables for the SATA uh, for the hard drive. There's no four pin connector for the hard drive. So not sure how that computer is gonna power up the hard drive without any power. It looks like you might have to find or buy separately on this two slot of cable for the power that comes in. Definitely doesn't come from the power supply. It may have been coming from the motherboard. So need to find it out how to upgrade um, additional hard drive with the power on this Acer TC1780. That is the M.2 SSD drive. This is the uh, 512 gigabytes. You can definitely upgrade to one terabyte if you need to. 
Now they do have PCIe slot where you can upgrade your graphics card, but I don't think that the um, uh, a powerful graphics card can be upgraded to the computer because that the power supply does not have any six pin or eight pin connector for you to add power to the graphics card. So if you want to have a graphics card, you're definitely going to be a low profile, a graphics card that does not need power. All right, this is the Wi-Fi card. The computer has a built-in Wi-Fi, so you can receive Wi-Fi here. That's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. The computer has two HDMI slots, which allows you to have dual monitor if you're planning to use dual screen. The one, two, three, four, five USB port in the back, and there are two USB port in the front, Ethernet jack, and the power on the on the very top. The computer only have one fan, which is the CPU fan. It doesn't have any um, intake fan, so there's no intake fresh air coming in from the front, and there's no exhaust going out from the back. So if you need to have exhaust add up to the computer to cool off the computer, definitely you need to buy a separate fan on it and install it right here on the top left corner which is the uh, the CPU system fan exhaust power. Alright that's pretty much it. If you have any question uh, please comment down below. Check the link. I'll link it where you can buy this from Amazon. Hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.